Hello, you be beautiful people. I'm Michael Box, and you show up here for the same reason I show up here, because you know there's more to life. There's more as far as what you can give. There's more as far as what you can get. There's more as far as what you can feel. And the whole purpose of this show, the reason we show up here every morning at 9 a.m. is because we want to feel more. We want to give more. We want to get more. And <clears throat> you were born genius. Look, you were born epic. You were born to change the world. You were born brilliant and to impact the planet. There will never be another you in the future. There, will ne there was never a, a you before now. You are the only you that we get as far as a planet goes. So you're here for a reason. And if your heart is beating, there's a reason your heart is beating. There's a reason that you're on the planet. And the whole purpose we show up here every morning at 9 a.m. is to find that purpose and get you down the road of fulfilling your purpose on the planet. You, When you're born genius, when you're in the world and you're starting to you know, live your life, you get caught in the riptide of life and you get sucked under into the ocean of am I enough? Good morning, Shandon. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm so glad you're here. Jerry Botts, Drea is here, Billy Fosnott. Thank you guys. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you for being here. Once you get caught in the riptide of life, you, you're you out there in the ocean of am I enough and you're starting to drown. You're starting, you know, what is wrong? Why can't I get things done? You get smashed against the rocks. You start to breathe in doubt and fear and limiting beliefs. Thank you, Shannon, for watching the replays. Leave a comment so I know that you're watching. I'm so grateful that you're here. And my whole job on the planet is to swim out into the ocean of Am I Enough, grab you, pull you back up onto the beach of I Am Enough, and you start to, and start to resuscitate you. And you spew out doubt. You spew out fear. You spew out limiting beliefs. And you start to walk down the path of life in a way that you have not walked down the path of life. Good morning, Kate. I was thinking about you this morning. I promised you I'd get my hair cut with you next, and I think it's going to happen soon. This hair is crazy this morning. Stacy Lapartis, good morning. I'm happy you're here. So, now that we've got you on the beach of I Am Enough, and we've got you resuscitated, and you're starting to walk down the path, of success in a way that you haven't walked down the path before. I just want to encourage you that gratitude is everything. The most successful people that you will find on the planet, gratitude is the foundation of that success. And I want you to start building the, the road of success, paving it with gratitude. So right now, Roger Smith, good morning, glad you're here. Think this Is this your first time, Roger? Put a one in there if this is your first time. I want you to start right now with gratitude. Tar type it in your gratitudes. I am grateful for... And then you... Yes, sir. Dre says, gratitude is key. And she is successful. She is rolling down this road of success. So type in your gratitudes. Now, as you're typing in your gratitudes, we're going to take some breaths. Because the breaths create space. And in the space... <laughs> we get the next thing we need to do. Glad you're here, Roger. It's Roger's first time. Everybody make Roger feel welcome. Make sure you guys say hi to Roger. I'm glad you're here, Roger. Stay on. You won't, you won't regret it, buddy. We're here every morning at 9 a.m. This space that we're going to create by these breaths is where the next step comes from. Who you're supposed to call next. What are you supposed to say to them? Um, what are you supposed to do for your next, the next thing on your app? How you need to solve the next problem on your invention? How you need to fix the relationship you're in. All of that stuff. Stace Laparta says, I'm grateful for a hot cup of coffee and I am enough. She does love her coffee, doesn't she? Drea says, I'm grateful for this beautiful day and everything that this beautiful day has to offer me. Stacy says, welcome Roger. Mindy says, good morning. Good morning, Mindy. Shandon says, hi, Roger. They're making you feel welcome, Roger. I like that. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's why this is our show, not my show. All right, let's take this first breath. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale. Good morning, Cody. 
Cody, is this your first time? Put a one in there if it's your first time, Cody. Breathe in. Exhale. My mom says, I'm grateful for the S-U-N, and I am enough. You know, I was watching my video yesterday. I try to watch it to see how I can get better. And when I took these breaths, when I was watching the video, I was like, that really feels good. So <laughs> it works, guys. Two more. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale. The way you guys are making Roger feel welcome, that's how, that's how we build a tribe. That's how we, we build a, a community of people going down the road of success. And I'm so proud of you each for doing that right now. I, I could get emotional about that. Breathe in. Exhale. Charles Apartis is watching with Stacey and he says, I'm grateful for all the accepting of his bids. Good job, Charles. I love it. Okay. Drea says, I always do that. I watch all my videos to see what I can do better. Good job, Drea. You guys, today's message is simple. Wake up. Wake up. I want you to think about everything you've done so far this morning. What did you have to do? And what are you doing because it's some tradition? Mindy says, I'm grateful for this community. Thank you, Mindy. What are, what are you, what, I want you to just think about today, just the last few hours. Some of you are just getting out of bed. Some of you have been up for four hours. I want you to think about everything you've done so far today. And what are you doing out of just numbness? What are you doing that's out of just the blah or because your mom did it or your dad did it and now you're doing it or you've been doing it for 70 years? And I want to ask you a question. Are you awake are you conscious of the choices that you're making? Because this is your life. Look, all we know for sure is we have right now. My heart is beating now, and I am grateful for that beyond measure. And I could go in, I'll go into a whole thing about gratitude. I've been thinking about doing a whole show about gratitude. But this morning, I, it just dawned on me what are we doing out of tradition, religious tradition? family tradition, because it's convenient, as opposed to doing the thing that's in our heart to do. You know, I, I am a certain way, and I love that I'm a certain way. I'm loud, I'm boisterous, I make a lot of noise, I welcome anybody in, I laugh really loud. That's who I am, and I love that about me. But sometimes I conform to the audience not audience like I'm in front of them, but like if I'm in a crowd, if I'm in the audience, I conform and that makes me feel uncomfortable. And I started to think, why, why am I doing that? Am I conforming to please someone else? Am I conforming because it's a tradition in the family? Am I conforming to get accepted by this group? And I'm just, I want us to wake up because what's inside of you that we need, the thing that the universe or God, however you want to say it, put inside of you and put you on the planet now, we need it. But the only way it comes from in here to out here is if you fully express yourself. If you wake up and go, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. I don't care what mom says. I don't care what husband says. I don't care what kids say. I'm not doing it anymore. That, is, that does not make me feel fully self-expressed. The only rule, the only rule I would say to this talk is make sure it's not hurting someone else. I would never want to do anything that would hurt any of you. I would never want to do anything that would hurt my family. I would never want to do anything to hurt another human. I would never do that unless they're kicking my door in to hurt me. I don't want to hurt other humans. But that's the only rule. Everything else... I want you to question it today. I want you to wake up and I want you to go, why am I doing this? Why do I take this way to work? Why do I drink coffee out of this? 
Why do I wake up and do this? Why do I go to sleep at this time? Why am I sitting here in front of this screen? You know, I mean, if we're doing this a lot of time during the day, I mean, this might be counterintuitive because I want you to watch this show, but I also want you to, to give the world what the world needs. So I want you to just I, I, wake up. I want it to dawn on you that you don't have I was thinking about what do I have to do? I have to breathe. I have to drink. I have to eat. Not as much as I'm eating, but I do need to eat at some point. About every 30 days I need to take something to eat. But but what else do I have to do? Now I'm not saying drop all your responsibilities, or maybe I am saying that. But I want you to wake up. I want it to just... Like a beautiful flower when they do it like in this medium slow motion and that flower un unfolds and blossoms. And it's this beautiful, amazing flower. I think some of us are in our, in our tightened, unblossomed way. And this morning, right now, I want it to dawn on you. You have permission to wake up. I want to light the fuse on your firework. And I want you to burst into the sky and light the sky with your beautifulness. Because then, then we, the world, get what's inside of you. The cure, of, the cure for cancer has been around for hundreds of years. But the collaboration, the, the things that need to happen for it to, to come to pass, is because people are living in tradition. They're not awake. They're not blossoming. The cure for whatever your ails is ailing you. Whatever it is, it's inside of you and it wants to get out, but we need to wake up. Why are you doing what you're doing? Well, I'm in this relationship with this customer. I'm in this relationship with a staff member. I'm in this relationship with the, with a partner and I, and I, I'm stuck. You're not stuck. You're not stuck. Wake up and realize you're not stuck. You don't. You need humans, and you need to be kind to humans, but you don't need every human. I want you to, I want you to have permission to wake up. Don't stay in your cocoon. Don't, we wake up on the inside. Open up to your inner self, Stacy says. We are in our cocoon. And it's safe there, and it's warm, and there's a little shell around us. But if we stay in our cocoon, we don't inspire the world, and we suffer. Disregard the world. We suffer if we don't wake up. So the whole purpose of the day, I just want you to start asking, why am I doing this? Why? Why am I doing it like this? Why do I come to this office, sit in this chair, and do this for you? Why do I park my car where I park it? Why am I eating what I'm eating, what time I'm eating it? Why am I calling that customer? Why am I not calling that customer? I want us to start to just, just let, let it pop inside of you and just not even pop, it's more like an explosion. Inside of you is a nuclear explosion. And when it happens, the, the nuclear blast is going to impact the world. But we have to explode. We have to wake up. I want to give you permission to wake up. I just feel really passionate about this this morning. I know who somebody's watching this that needs to hear this and needs to get out of your cocoon. You need to get out of your cocoon. And no one can get you out of your cocoon. No one can do it for you. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to save you. You have to save us. We're waiting for you. We need you in all your beautiful, beautifulness. Look, I love you. I care about you. I just am passionate about you getting out here to us because we need you so bad. We are dying of thirst of your drink. We are dying of breath of what you breathe. Your breath of fresh air, your bofa, is what we need to live. Andrea says this was the same theme of her show. See, it's, 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 it's what we need to hear right now. 
So as you go through your day, I want you to ask yourself, why am I doing this? And is this helping me be fully self-expressed? Am I awake right now? Am I awake right now, Michael? And let's see what happens. I'd love a report. Please leave a message if you watch this later in the day. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> you, you bless me. You bless me. If your goal is to bless two people a day, check. And then everybody that, that made someone feel welcome on here, check. That's two people a day. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow morning. Share this. Five, four, three, two, one. Share. Share right now. I love you guys. Yes, Mindy says, everyone has something different to offer the world. That's exactly right. There's only one you. Like I started, there's never going to be another you. There never was another you. So what you have to offer the world, we need it. How dare you keep it inside of you? We, the world, need you. All of you. Every of you. Please, wake up.